look at this koi it's so cute oh yes this gel is so good so good i am super excited to try curl days as a brand period i have seen it for many years now maybe about two years i've seen it off and on i just have not tried it a friend of mine shout out to casey she told me that she really liked this glossy shine gel and now it's my turn to try it. This is the Curl Days Glossy Sign Gel with Kukui Oil. Don't know what that means or what it is. First time I've ever seen this ingredient. I did buy this at Target for $14. We love that it's easily accessible. I did see that they sell it at Walmart, CVS. This is for shiny, defined twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, and edges. It is sulfate, paraben, silicone, and alcohol free. The $13 will get you... 12 fluid ounces, AKA 355 milliliters. We're gonna learn about what the product is supposed to do. I'll check their website to see if there's any extra little, little tips that we need to know. My hair is freshly washed, so we are going to try it together and I will be sure to show you guys day one and two results. Hey baby loves, welcome back to the Fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Keyshawn Gupuy and if you're not, <laughs> you're loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin and properties, and tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday. What is this supposed to do? It says the Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel will give you the most defined, shiny, and moisturized styles ever. Ever. With no flaky. The amazing Kukui. I love that they wrote it out. Kukui oil with vitamins A, C, and E helps promote healthier, shinier hair, plus helps repair and renew dry, damaged curls. Your style will be crunch-free, flake-free, and last for days. Super cute. Directions start on wet, damp, or dry hair. Cool, you can use it on dry hair. Longer length, section here to desired size. Apply desired amount to each disangled section. You can also apply it to hair overnight then take down when completely dry. For shorter hair, you can massage it generously throughout your hair for curl definition and shine. Allow hair to ear dry, style desire, perfect for wash and go, twist outs, braid outs, up zoos, and edges. Let's get into what it smells like, what it feel like, what should we expect? Okay, taking off the foil. This is a very scoopy, silky gel, not super thick, a lot of slip. You can see it's already about to fall out of the jar. Curl days, just a little, a little feedback on the packaging. It's pretty hard and messy to open. So if we could get a little tab on this foil part or just, just something that make it a little easier. This smells delightful. This is not really strong, but I can smell it instantly. I don't know what it smells like, but it's probably because I've never heard of Kukui oil. So, something new that I'm smelling. Let's jump into it. They also have a curly, a cream curly, a curly cream styler situation. If I like this, I'll try that too. Let's try this little piece right here. I did see a TikTok review and a girl says she represent, or she recommends using a leave-in with it. And I didn't get their cream styler or any other products from them. So I'm gonna try this piece alone with just the gel, but I do wanna also try it with some type of leave-in cream styler as well, see if I like it more. This is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream. This has almond oil, shea butter, and vitamin A. This is a super moist, ooh, I almost dropped it. This hydrates, detangles, defines, and adds moisture to dry curls. That is all accurate. It is super moisturizing, very slippery though. It's not a super thick cream that won't mix well with the other things. So I feel like it's gonna be a good combo. On this left side, I'll be trying it with this Uncle Funky's cream so that we can see if it makes a big difference. On this right side, I'll do Strictly Gel. Cause I don't wanna know what the gel is capable of doing alone versus if we add some type of cream, especially if we can, especially if we like it enough, I will give this a go again with the style cream from Curl Days. Anyways, lots of words. Let's go ahead and give this a go. I'm doing a wash and go, so I'm going to make sure my hair is soaking to give this gel the best opportunity. Here is my freshly washed hair, just re-wet with the spray bottle. Okay, this is how much I'm applying. Starting at the root and making my way down. Making my way downtown. Ooh. Okay. Instant reaction to the gel, which is always a super great sign. 
the way my hair lays down, the way the curls react to it. And again, lays down. It doesn't stay thick. It doesn't feel frizzy. Oh, we love that. Look at that shine and juiciness. Frizz nowhere to be seen. I am going to part it and finger coil. This is so cute. Oh, I love that instant reaction. Come through. It's like already starting to dry up and thicken, but it, again, it feels really good. So pretty. I love that. It smells good. The, the, it reacted, my hair reacted instantly. I really hope that this has some hold because the way that was so easy to do, so quick to do, my wash and go is gonna go super fast simply because my hair is reacting so well to the product and laying down and that it's not giving me no troubles and i don't really finger coil the back of my head so literally like we're about to speed through this i'm gonna try a piece right here with the cream let's see if it makes any difference and i'm definitely going to do half and half to see which one we like better by day two and three may i just say my current wash day has been going so good this is no product this is wet hair with some uncle funky's daughter Slatted throughout the whole section, so not individual sections, not even that much. So this is just from a good wash day, and my wash days have been fire lately because I'm really focusing on moisture retention, but also length retention, and a healthy scalp because I've been struggling with dandruff, but I'm, I'm not even playing no more. We're, we locked in. This is the Super Curl Cream in my hair lovely slip okay and now i'm gonna apply this much gel starting from the root and smoothing my way down okay so all this all i'm feeling right now is just extra extra slip extra juice look at that that way it's clumping and shining gorgeous here you go this is the side with the cream i don't know i really like both this is just gel. This is gel with cream. I will give the side with the cream that it feels like it has more slip. It is super juicy and moisturized. I feel like this side is gonna look shinier, maybe even hold that shine and moisturized look longer. But this side has less frizz. This side, I feel like I had to kind of smooth over the coils a few more times, especially like towards the ends and midway, it got frizzier, whereas this had none of those issues. We're going to continue and we're going to see as we're styling if we notice anything more, but definitely at the end of this, which one do we, which side do we like better? Let's keep going. Halfway done with this side of my head and let me just say, I love the amount of slip that this product provides. It's so juicy and I'm flying through it because I'm just raking it through my hair and this is the result I'm getting. Now, these two pieces, the first pieces that we did start to dry up. The side with just gel has a lot more frizz in the root and shrinkage. This side, it feels like it's an even amount of frizz, but it's definitely more elongated. So what I'm gonna be looking for is what side has the minimal amount of frizz, what side is lasting longer, which has more hold and shine. Let's keep going though. You see the way the gel just slips through? It instantly provides shine. I really like that. Keeps my hair detangled. Boom. I'm gonna leave this side like this since it's already clumping together, but I'm gonna figure and coil the rest because that's how I like my hair to dry. I've, I've barely been having to detangle my hair because the minute I apply water and this gel, it instantly starts to oh look at this coil it's so cute oh yes this gel is so good so good the back i don't know what the top back starts to frizz more not too sure what it is that it needs since i applied the same amount of water and raked in the product but we'll see it's going really well with the cream it's so juicy extra bouncy there is a lot more frizz i think i need to be better about 
making sure my hair is in taking the water then applying the cream just continuing to rub it in really break it in let it sink in and then apply the gel to really minimize the amount of frizz that I'm, I'm dealing with because what happens is once I get frizzy then I have to apply a lot more gel to get it all to lay down together and I want to not do that I don't want to make it so heavy so yeah I'm figuring out my little tips and tricks but juicy and shiny and gorgeous is definitely the vibes right now last piece working the cream in look at how pretty so juicy making sure there's no tangles grabbing a big blob Starting at the root, smoothing down. And we're done. The shine on this side is really hitting. Like, it looks so pretty. However, this side is also a lot frizzier. I feel like the definition on this side is more pronounced. But as this dries, I feel like I'm seeing more frizz and definitely not a lot of hold. This doesn't really claim to have a strong hold, a firm hold, nothing like that. So, especially adding the cream is going to make it extra soft. I doubt this is going to last to day three. I think I'll have a nice day one after diffusing. We're going to see in a minute. And I definitely think this will look cute day two. By day three though, with how soft this is, I'm curious to see if it gives me a big fro, soft bouncy curls that still hold the coil, they're just not crunchy. Cause this definitely talks about incredible definition, shine and hydration, but it didn't say nothing about no holes. So you know, we about to see what it's giving. Let me go ahead and diffuse right now. This is super cute and very soft. I like how bouncy and soft this feels. It is definitely a lot frizzier than I prefer, which means that drying, it has the potential to absolutely poof and not hold the curl at all. I'm also happy to maybe add another gel on top of this to give it that hold, to add mousse on top of this. You guys, please comment down below right now if you have recommendations. If you guys have combos I should be trying with this to give me a little more hold. I'm just planning ahead because I feel like this it's not going to give what it need to give. But we will see. Let me go ahead and diffuse and we can really talk about it together. Really quick, if you made this far, I hope you like, subscribe because you're already vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about growing our hair and having glowing skin all at an affordable price. If that's something that you are interested in, comment down below right now. Some watermelon or mango emojis together, separate the word, the emojis, whatever you want. So let me know that you made it this far because I want to show you so much love. Also, check the description box for related videos and affiliate links if you want to support me as well as try products that we review together. Whatever you want to do to show your support and love, comment down below. Like, subscribe, and keep watching. I will say the bounce, the flow, the, bo the movement, the movimiento is hitting. My hair is bouncy, baby, bouncy, flowing, full. High density. Okay, I'm doing so much. Let me go ahead and diffuse. She's so voluminous and I love it. Can you see the difference between the cream and gel side versus the gel only side? Now that it's been diffused, I actually feel like this cream gel side is holding the curl pattern and the actual style better than the just gel side but that don't mean that the pieces that are well defined are hit are not hitting because they are like these pieces look so juicy this is the first little section that we did together and here is this first little section that we did together still very soft and i prefer a lot more hold but i love how soft and very big my hair is right now. There actually isn't that much of a difference other than this side has more shrinkage and is looking maybe a bit fuller, rounder, versus this side is more elongated and stretched out, so it gives it more of a flatter look. 
in that sense I do like this fullness that's happening but that doesn't mean I can't fluff this out more make it bigger um yeah y'all I don't know I like thankfully it's not too big of a difference I don't look crazy walking around this way but what do y'all think right now are you liking the gel only side more do you like this result better versus the cream and gel side? All around, feels so weightless and flowy. Look at the back. Don't know if the back, I can, when I was styling the back, definitely looked different. So let's look at it now. This side is just gel. This side is cream and gel. I'm happy with both, to be honest. She cute. And my aunt is actually reacting really well to this. Lots of little coilies. This little first piece I did, gorgeous coils. Same for this side. So bouncy. This is extra cute. Look at that. What? Oh, so pretty. Overall, this Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel does exactly that. Definitely gives you a little glossy shine that makes your hair look incredibly healthy and shiny. The gel in general does what it claims to do. It's gonna define your hair, it's gonna moisturize your hair, and it's gonna give you shine. Check, check, check. Hold. Also, no flake, that is for sure. I haven't seen a gunky, flaky nothing. Hold. It doesn't claim to give you hold, and I'm confirming that it does not give you hold. It is just this super soft, bouncy feeling, which I think that if you have a hair type that's going to hold a curl even when it's soft, that's awesome. Me, by the end of day two, possibly by the morning of day two, this is not going to look the same, so I'm a little nervous. We'll see what it gives in a little bit. This is how it looks for day two. And this is how it looks for day three. I think... We can improve on hold and definition, but overall the look, too cute. We knew it was gonna be soft and fluffy, so that is a guarantee. And it did hold the curl better in certain places, way better than I expected, um, but it also gave as much for as I expected. So, I would still like to try a different mix, because if I can get more hold and definition, and then fluff my hair out to get the voluminous look. That is my preference. I want it to hold for longer. But I am not mad at this, especially because I'm a pretty free, you know, like I'll just let my hair do whatever it wants. So this look doesn't bother me. Bigger can be better. Let me know what you guys think. Also, product suggestions, video requests, comment them down below. And if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.